Hi guys, um, I just wanted to come do a quick video on my phone um, about why I've been away from my YouTube channel. Um, if you follow me on Snap, you know I had just recently got out of the hospital and I had um, the gastric sleeve surgery, which is the weight loss surgery. Um, um, tomorrow will be a week out and I just wanted to come and let you guys know that I haven't forgot about you. And I will be back um, probably next week um, to do some more videos and reviews and stuff. Um, I just threw on this this piece right here because I wanted to try it out as far as the color is concerned. Because I know it's so close to my skin tone and I didn't know whether or not it was going to drown me out. I didn't do much of anything to the makeup or anything. Um, actually, I just used one brush, and you probably can tell because of the way the eyeshadow and stuff is on. But um, I'm going to show you the incisions right quick. And after that, um, I will tell you guys a little bit about um, what I went through. Sorry, you guys. My um, sister-in-law called, and I'm recording this on my phone because I'm not going to have it be really, really long and drawn out. So, as I was saying, um, I'm getting ready to show you my incisions, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, my experience. So, I have six incisions. There's one here, one here, 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 and here. And as you can see, my stomach is still quite swollen a bit. Um, and I'm still in... A lot of pain but um I'm a big girl so I'm holding my own um uh, so the morning of my surgery which was Thursday I had to be there at five o'clock in the morning and um, I got there with my sister-in-law and we sat in the lobby for a little while and they took us back and of course I dread that part where they tell you to get totally undressed so um then I had on my night clothes and stuff, and they started all the IVs and everything to that nature. And my wrist is still sore from the IV. It was right here, right there. Um, so I remember my doctor coming in and telling me that um, he was going to he can he I I can get two doses of the um, what you call it the two doses of the first drug that they give you to kind of relax you but apparently I didn't need it because I don't remember actually going back into the operating room and normally I do normally I remember all the way up until they put the mask on my face but I kind of vaguely remember them me scooting over on the table yeah I do um I remember sc scooting on the table and them um uh putting my arms down um not, I'm not gonna say pinning my arms down, but strapping my arms down, and that's about all I remember. I don't even remember um, me waking up in recovery. I remember being up in my room with my um, sister-in-law, and um, that's about it. That's all about I remember for Thursday, cause Thursday is really a blur. And but Friday, um, I started coming around a little bit more hurting more and they gave me they was giving me pain medicine through my IV at first and um apparently that wasn't strong enough so they had to start a um a pain pump and oh my god when they started that pain pump it was like somebody threw acid on my skin or something because every time the, I um, had to match the button for to put the pain medicine in. I would itch literally like crazy. I mean, I dug a hole in my, let me see, in my leg really bad. I'm trying to show it to you guys. It's nasty, but I dug a hole in my leg and um, my nose I dug the holes all in my nose, but I put that's why I put that little bit of makeup on because my nose has all these little sores all over it. My back, um, 
everywhere. I mean, they had they went from putting ice packs all over me for the itching to putting heat packs on my stomach for the pain. And that was a miserable day. So Friday was very, very, very miserable. Um, and so Friday, I still had the catheter in. I got up to walk. Um, and I couldn't do that too much walking but because the, the pressure was just so bad. But s Saturday morning... They had this bed, and I know it's for reasons so no blood clots, but they were giving me blood clot medicine. But they had this bed that constantly rolled and moved. It was like he was on a um, massage chair 24-7. And I know some people might be like, oh, that was so good. No, it was not. It was miserable. Just not being able to lie still in that bed, constantly moving, and then sometimes it goes, it moves you way more than what you want to. And if you was trying to sit up on the side of the bed, then um, it would rotate and you would go up and down, and it was just crazy. So I was fed up of the bed. And um, by this time, my sister in law and my sister switched out. My sister in law stayed with me. Thursday night and my um, sister stay with me on Friday night and so um, Friday night late night they took the catheter out and um, it was like I I didn't have far to go to the bathroom but it was like soon the urge hit you to have to go you had to go and I made it all but once. Don't laugh. I made it all but once. Um, so that was miserable Friday night. Had to be up in pain, trying to wash up, trying to um, change out night clothes, all that kind of stuff. It was it was crazy. So Saturday, I was just miserable. It was hot in the room, and it was cold. It was hot, and it was cold. It was hot, and it was cold. And... Um, I didn't have any TV or any noise. The slightest noise was like really aggravating to me. And so um, my sister pretty much kept earphones in and um, the room was pretty much quiet. But other than all the beeping and stuff from other machines, it was just, oh my God. And then I had to have oxygen because anytime I lay down, I have sleep apnea. And when I went lay down, my oxygen level would go down real low um and my CPAP machine which is my breathing machine wasn't doing what it needed to to do so they just had to take take me off that and put me on um oxygen pure oxygen so um Saturday um well I think Friday night my doctor came in and said oh well you may be able to go home tomorrow it just depends and they give you this stuff it's a protein shape and it's in a cup of probably about this big um about the me size of a medicine cup that you get with your nyquil or something and they had it filled one with water and one with this nasty protein shake now i could see if they would gave me slim fast because that tastes much better that's what kind of protein shake i'm on right now two ounces every two hours i mean yeah every two hours and then um water um, and it took me, they filled this up on Thursday and I just finished one of them on yesterday afternoon. So this is my second one since surgery and I can't really drink a full slim fast because, um, my stomach cramps, it cramps like crazy. Like, I mean, uh, I read somewhere where I could eat some fruit. Oh my God. And I had um, a slice of watermelon. and Well, not a slice, but like a little piece about this big, this long. And then I had a meal and about the same thing. And my stomach cramped so, so bad. So bad. It was like, um, I remember the days that I had a cycle. And it was like excruciating cramps. Like, you know, cycle cramps kind of thing. Um, and I'm drinking Gatorade, um, the low calorie Gatorade. And it took me two days to drink one of these, um, one of these right here. And so, um, I'm on all liquids, um, until I go back to the doctor on Tuesday. 
Um, I haven't felt hungry or anything. Um, the most thing I've had is, like I said, the cramps. And I've had um, times where, um, well, of course the pain. But other than that, everything is going good. Um, I don't feel like any different. I don't feel like um, I lost any weight or I'm losing any weight. Or, um, I just feel normal. just feel like... Um, I got cuts all over my body. Like maybe you got a spanking with a switch when you was younger, and you and then you got wet and the stinging sensation. Um, well, it feels like that, but a little bit more intense. Um, with my stomach. So, um, yeah, guys. Um, I'm not going to weigh until I go to the doctor, and then once I go to the doctor, I'll tell you what weight I lost, if any. Um, I'm pretty much not going to be a weighaholic. I'm going to let my clothes pretty much tell me um, what my weight is, what my weight is, and how if I'm losing anything. Um, so I know I'm probably going to get a lot of slack from people about weight loss surgery, but don't judge me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I endure to try to lose weight, and you don't know what, um, problems that it has caused me both mentally physically and emotionally so um don't come for me unless i twirl for you and i'm not gonna twirl for you so um my haters hate on um but yeah guys tell me what you think about this color on me um i know the makeup could be a lot better I, like i said i use one brush i just wanted to put a little bit of something on um, to actually do this video and I'm um, probably went a little bit overboard with the purple with because it was a big brush that I did the bottom with and so the purple got in places that it shouldn't have gotten but until next time don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and I will be updating you on you guys on my weight loss surgery I love you, my beauties and cuties. And to my new followers, thank you. To my old ones, thank you for being my ride or die. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Later.